This is too cute as hell. Oh my god. Have this bit coming next. Alright guys, so as you may know, I've done a few glow tutorials in the past and it seems like you guys do like them. But with this one particularly, the other day Chief Keith Mike Will dropped a song called Dirty Nachos. The cover's a bit questionable, but um, that's not the point. The actual beat in it sounds a little bit different and as you can hear, they kind of expand the glow sound. So within this video, we want to be doing that. Obviously make it, not make it exactly the same, but you know what I'm saying, kind of have the same sort of basis to show you guys how Mike Will does make these fire beats for Chief Keith since he's completely changing the sound right now. And um, yeah, let's just, let's just get right into it. Wait, wait, no, before we get into it actually, if you guys aren't already in, I've recently made a Discord and it's got almost like a thousand members already and you guys are going crazy on there. Uh, if you ever want to work, want to work with me, talk to me or like there's loads of just crazy stuff in there that you guys are missing out on. So be sure to go check that out. Link in the description. Let's get right into it. As you guys can see, um, the only VST you guys actually need for this is SRX strings or any sort of SRX plugins. This literally has everything. But this at least like, because if you want the Pizzicato, it's in here. And if you want the brass, it's in SRX orchestra. You know what I'm saying? Like SRX kind of has you ha handle for this. But um, on this one particularly, I want to have like a little pad in the background. So so I'm gonna already go against my point and I'm gonna get a pad from a different plugin for this one Let's go back to like music toy. I used this in my last video. If you guys didn't check that out. Go check that out There's some crazy sauce in there. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with this uh, Pizzicato sound right here I'm gonna try and find a nice little bounce melody and then we'll kind of change that into different sounds and then go off there So let's just try and see what we can do and I didn't record the whole thing. No. Oh god damn it So starting again. All right. So yeah, let's just make this so But I'm doing a speed run right now that across now we've got that main melody already i'm gonna bring it into like a music toy yeah we've got this plugin right now great sound already we just want to save that so then we're also going to get a pool to kind of flip that so it could be a nice little background layer as well we can make two layers out of just one sound there we go we could just do that as well and now we have these two sounds already brought out and then we'll try and see if we can flip with this and then we're gonna bring that pizzicato back in There's Kai back in as well. An effects on that Pizza Kai, maybe another portal in there as well. Oh, that's hard. That's hard. Hold on, hold on. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's pretty hard. So yeah, let's do that. Have an octave. There we go. I'll find this. There we go. Now get rid of on that. So I'm just going to get that, that exact same MIDI right there. I'm gonna just going to chuck it onto a few one shots to kind of layer it and add some sort of pad effect to it. The pad, obviously, we're going to go for the synth pass two pad. So almost some high end. It may sound like this could be fire. You can maybe do the ADSR trick. Stereo shape that. So now we've got this, as I said earlier on guys, SRX Orchestra and SRX Strings are all you need. So I'm gonna go straight to SRX Orchestra right now. Chuck this in, get some brass from this. So we'll get some brass at one point, man. Evil brass. That might work. Now we're, let's, let's get a little bit bounce here. Let's just layer this up an octave. Oh, that is actually the Chief Keef sound right there. And for this, for this section, for the for the next eight bars, we're gonna bring this up an octave again. Let's bring the boss down a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this all to a bus right now, so I can kind of glue it all together. That's almost there to be honest. So now let's let's get some strings again from SRX strings. Just, just put it on the top. I think we might we might almost be there. It's gonna be quite quiet and just like in the background. I'm gonna kind of follow this 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 root these root notes. So something like this, and then just bring this up so many octaves.
That's hard. Look here, like some little vocals in the back. So I'm gonna go to Implements Legacy Kit. Try and see if we can even just just just, just make this glow. I don't know if we can, but but let's let's try it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to get this vocal right here and I'm going to do a little trick which you guys are going to love to, to, to use. So I'm going to go to number six and then I'm going to go to effect tricks actually. Literally, it's going to be this simple. This is all I'm going to do. I'm going to traverse all the way across and literally like any, any, any like vocal at all, it just makes it sound a little bit more dark. You know what I mean? Like... Did not sound like that before, so we might even just bring that across on each one. Like, now it works. It was an R&B vocal. It needs that little bit of low end right there. So, so what I want to do for the low end, um, it's going to sound a bit weird. I think this might work, but let, let's just see what we can do. So, we're going to go to SRX Studio. Again, another SRX plugin right here. We're going to actually get the default piano from, right? Yeah, guys, obviously, I'm using all SRX stuff because, obviously, it's Roland, and a lot of uh, cheap key beats are made on the Roland Phantom, which is obviously through Roland, and a lot of the stuff are made around Roland plugins. So, I think this is the best way to really achieve that sound. But anyway, so we have this sound here, right? Like this piano. And I want to make it literally just pretty much a sub. So, I'm going to get this to get this bit of the EQ and take out loads of highs and bring up loads of lows. So when it's down there, it's gonna add like a low end. You know what I'm saying? You hear that? It sounds like low end now. So obviously you're just gonna follow this chain right here. Anyway, so we have this melody, and now it's time to just chuck these drums on. I know exactly the sounds I'm gonna have for this one. As you guys see right here, we've got a few sounds, a few from the Lost Five Volume Two kit, and yeah, we're trying to come up with. It. And man, it's a Chief Keith beat, so you know we have to whip this chant out. And on a lot of the beats, I know it's so like, so like minuscule, but they take up a lot of the highs on the chant, so it sounds. Obviously, man, this is also from the uh, Essentials pack. I have that little. If it's a Michael Made it beat, he likes it like obviously from the Dirty Nacho song as well. He likes to kind of change the note the airway it's on, so like it's not always on F, for example. Chief Keef as hell, oh my god. <laughs> and then yeah, let's just remove loads of these sounds for now. Have this bit coming next. Before I get in time, okay, maybe I'll look at this. All of this is hot for that. man we made that in like half an hour we made that quick as hell i can't even lie bro this is so quick and yeah guys if you guys enjoyed sure go leave a like subscribe let me know what you guys are down below i'll catch you on the next one peace